think you have a really big, uh, there's a really big project. I think it was the 58 MGD WWTP that you mentioned. Is that the, yeah. is that the big one? Yeah. What, can you, can you unpack that a little bit more? Yeah. It's a, a, a really big wastewater treatment facility. Um, and they have, they have two trains, um, to, to pass that the wastewater goes through when it comes into their system. So we did, uh, one side, uh, and, and they were having problems with, with solids accumulation and, and clarifiers. Um, and so we treated, uh, one side and didn't treat the other side. So that way we could, you know, track the data and track the performance. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So they saw a 37% uh, reduction in their settling volume, um, mm. 43% reduction in their sludge volume index overall. Okay. Um, and so then that turns into to cost savings on having to haul off sludge. Uh, because right. if they have to, so they have to dewater, which is never cheap. Um, and then anytime you're hauling any amount of water is expensive. So, and then they have to go either find somewhere to land apply or, or go to a landfill and, and pay tipping fees. So, you know, it, for every load that you reduce, you're reducing your cost. Got it. Okay. And they could see, they could see like, so once they had the one side was working so well, then, then they naturally went yep. to the other side. Yep. yep. Excellent. Excellent. Yep. The, um, and then I see another one. This gets more into the, the dairy side of it. So, uh, they were, what were they trying to do with the, the, the dairy? So they were trying to, they were using Aquasyst and BioReact? Yeah, it was actually um, a dairy processing facility. So they were okay. processing milk and cheese. Oh, okay. Um, and so they were having issues with solids buildup, but they were also having issues with uh, high levels of E. coli. Um, hmm. And so we were able to reduce their solids and reduce their E. coli load. And, you know, how does that work, right? So essentially... Yeah. You know, E. coli is is utilizing nutrients in the system to continue to, to reproduce. And we're basically yeah. adding enough of our bacteria, enough of that targeted bacteria that are reproducing at a high rate that they essentially outcompete uh, oh, really? the, the, the bad bacteria, the, the E. coli, um, so for, big, for levels of nutrients. So big note to anybody watching that's running anything <laughs> that there might be E. coli. Yeah, yeah. We so can, you can actually, like, basically take over. Yeah. Take yeah, that over. Yeah, take, take the nutrients away from the E. coli. 